hello all welcome back to yet another video of me creating an abstract painting the materials are listed in the beginning of the video do check it out in this video we are going to be discussing about a few challenges anyone faces when doing art I will also be doing the painting alongside the talking so do follow along okay the first challenge we often encounter as an artist is creative block this is something I believe all of us face at some point of time in our creative journeys creative block is essentially a time where, where we struggle to find inspiration ideas or the motivation to create it is a state where creativity seems impossible and we may also start questioning ourselves and questioning our abilities or even the direction of our work for me personally the root cause of my creative block has often been burnout burnout occurs when i push myself so hard and sometimes it might be the pressure to meet certain expectations or sometimes it might be because i have set an ambitious goal on some days this pressure can become so overwhelming and instead of pushing me forward it causes me to hit a wall and this is overwhelming and i realize that okay i need a break and this is my creative burnout so when i recognize that i'm burning out i make a conscious decision to step back i know that continuing to push through won't help in fact it could make things worse so I take a break and reassess on how I can engage with my art in a way that feels less pressured and more enjoyable. Sometimes this means exploring art in different ways, perhaps by watching online art tutorials to learn new techniques or by immersing myself in art books and articles to gain fresh perspectives. However, there are some days I do neither of these. Instead, I give myself permission to come to take a complete break from art altogether. I might spend a couple of days focusing on other activities that I enjoy or I just simply rest. This time away from art allows my mind to recharge and often leads to new ideas or a renewed enthusiasm for my art. So when I am back creating, I find that I am able to start fresh with a clear mind and a new spirit. I highly recommend this approach to anyone experiencing a creative block, whether it's a short break or a change in how you re-engage with art. Giving yourself that space can make a whole world of a difference. It may just be the key to overcoming your block and reconsidering the joy in your creative process. Another significant challenge many of us face is perfectionism. This tendency to strive for flawlessness in our work can be especially tricky, particularly when we have a strong inclination towards abstract art. Abstract art, by its very nature, breaks away from traditional forms and expectations, which can sometimes make it feel less valid or appreciated, both by others and even by ourselves. There are moments where we might question our choice to pursue abstract art. The thought of returning to more traditional styles might cross our minds and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Traditional art has its own beauty and appeal and it's natural to be drawn to it. But in this 
pursuit, we might also find ourselves tempted to lean into perfectionism, trying to create something that meets conventional standards of beauty or technical skill and something that we believe is flawless. However, in chasing perfection, we often lose sight of what makes art truly joyful. The freedom to create something that resonates with us personally. The pressure to create something flawless, something that we think will gain more recognition or reach a wider audience can be overwhelming. We might assume that by perfecting our work, we will achieve greater heights or success. But in doing so, we risk losing the essence of what makes art special. Art should be an expression of what brings us happiness and fulfillment. If traditional art is what lights up our hearts, then by all means, we should embrace it. But if it's contemporary or abstract art that truly makes us feel alive, that's the path we should follow. The most important thing is to create from a place of love and passion. When we do that, our heart flourishes and, the, and that joy is reflected in our work. Whether it is the fluidity and freedom of abstract art or the precision and detail of traditional styles, what matters the most is what that brings us happiness. So let's lean into what we love and allow our creativity to thrive in the way that makes us feel most authentic. Lots of talking done and I hope you found the discussion insightful. I also hope you've enjoyed the art process. See you in the next video. Take care.